Here's a quick video on our mock-up. Like most things in Photoshop, there's a million different ways you can do this. This is just the way that I found that's one of the fastest. Um, this image is actually pulled off the web, but if you're doing this for any kind of professional reasons or presentations, I'd suggest either taking your own picture or contacting the garment vendor and asking them for a high-resolution photo. Um, it's really important that you use a white t-shirt and not a colored t-shirt for reasons I'll show later, but it has to do with the shadows, and uh, working with a colored one can kind of slow that process up quite a bit. So the first thing you want to do is get in there and just basically mask the t-shirt out from the background. I like to use the pen tool, but if you're working with a pen tablet, you can do that with an eraser tool or apply a mask and use a brush. You know, so just, well actually I tend to like to zoom in a whole bunch, but you know, just go in there. I'm just doing this really sloppy. And you know, get your edges down. But I've actually already done all this, so I don't have to waste your time with the masking part. So I just saved the path. Um, so once you're done, it should look something like this. You know, I like to stick a colored background in the back just so you can kind of see what you're working with a bit better. And I'm actually just going to apply this mask so it commits. So here it is, masked out. Um, the next thing you want to do is just select the actual t-shirt itself by holding control. Or if you're on a Mac, I believe it's command, and then clicking on the layer. And then just, while that's still selected, make a new layer and then hit the mask button, which is down here. It looks like a, a rectangle with a circle in the middle. Just hit that. So here, you know, it's just a mask layer of the t-shirt. Uh, select the image of the actual t-shirt and set it to multiply on the layer property. And then here, let's just name this like t-shirt color and name this top one here, that's your actual t-shirt, shadows, or whatever you want to call it. It's always nice to label your layers, especially if someone else is going to use it. And whatever you fill in this layer right here, the t-shirt color layer, is going to actually become the color of your t-shirt. In this case, it's like a baby blue, sort of. Um, if you select the shadows layer, what you can do is hit Control-L on a PC or Command-L on a Mac and bring up your levels. And I usually take this middle one right here. There's three arrows, left, uh, middle, and right. Basically, the farther right you drag something, the darker it gets. Uh, the farther left, the lighter. I usually like to make them just a little bit darker. You know, you can kind of see what works best for you. Um, you don't want to make them totally blown out or it looks super, super fake. But, you know, that's really almost everything right there. It's super, super fast. Um, basically, with your artwork, I just dragged in some artwork previously. You want to set it below your shadows layer. Um, if you want to do, like, a mast, you know, you can once again just select your shadows layer. That's your outline of your t-shirt with a controller command. And then once again, apply that using the mask tool down here. And you can name this artwork. And then just drag whatever artwork you want to show on the t-shirt inside the artwork folder. And this way, like let's say you were doing a belt print or a sublimation that covers the whole thing, you know, it, it'll automatically mask it for you. Uh, saves you a little bit of time, especially if you plan on reusing the same stuff over and over again. And this is where you can really see too, like if your shadows layer is enough, like if you think it needs to be darker, you can either, you know, go back in levels, darken it up a little bit, although it tends to look uh, bit too much or you can just actually just dupe the shadows layer it'll do something similar um, this looks bad but you get the idea all right and now for black tees I'm actually just gonna go on ahead and duplicate this layer altogether because this is kind of a bit of a different process um, you can actually just probably actually leave that turn off the art for now so with your shadows layer on and the background being you know, clear or white, so you can see it. Uh, go into channels, and then pick red, green, or blue. Um, they should all look basically the same. And just hit Control and click it, or if you're on a Mac, hit Command and click it. And that'll select basically all the darks inside of it. Uh, then go back over to your layers, and with it still selected here, uh, right click and select inverse. If you're on a Mac, I think it's Command Shift I to select inverse and just turn off the shadows layer with this still selected and then you want to fill it with white and just hit uh, D to bring up your default colors and then hit X to switch it over to white and then with Alt Delete it'll fill in white 
And you're going to see what happens in just a second here. Using this t-shirt color, just turn that on and then switch it to black and fill it using a alt delete again. And as you can see, this looks uh, bad, really bad. Um, you basically just want to take this layer you just created and rename this like dark shadows, something like that. And then bring down the opacity until it looks pretty real. Um, I'm at 41% right now, but you can play around and see what works for you. Um, this way you can actually use a rich black down here. Like if you were to go back to the other one with the colors here, it's blue. And I were to make this rich black, you can tell there's like no shadows to be seen. And what a lot of people do is just bring this up, you know, so it's kind of like a dark, dark gray, but you can still see the shadows. It's kind of your call which one you think looks better. I mean, the end result's pretty darn similar. Um, I think the shadows in this darker one look... Uh, bit more apparent but sometimes if uh, the shot isn't good it can look really bad too it's up to you just use your best discretion but that should cover it